Where and how you set up your ladder can reduce workplace injuries and fatalities. Once you've selected the right ladder for the job, follow these setup best practices. Make sure that any step ladder has a level and solid footing and that you can perform your job within the highest safe standing level and highest safe working height. Step ladders should always be fully open while in use, never closed or leaned against the surface unless specifically designed for this purpose by the manufacturer. Set up your step ladder in a secure area, free of cross traffic. If a step ladder needs to be used near a doorway, lock, block, or guard the door so no one knocks the worker off the ladder. Make sure all four feet of a step ladder rest firmly on the ground and will not sink into loose soil or slip on the surface being used. When setting up an extension ladder, a level, solid footing is required for safe use. If you're working on uneven ground, use a leveling device. Some ladders have built-in levelers. Commercial ladder leveling accessories are also available. If you're going to step onto a roof from your ladder, be sure that you extend the ladder three feet above the roof's edge. Extending the ladder too far above the roof edge could cause it to slide or kick out. Position the ladder so that it has at least 12 inches of solid support on either side. To set up your extension ladder, start by laying your ladder down with the end caps pointing away from the building. Orient the feet and the fly of the ladder according to manufacturer's requirements. Before raising up your ladder, check for overhead power lines of any kind. Place the ladder against the base of the building or another secure object, or have a person assist you by blocking the bottom of the ladder. Next, raise the ladder to its vertical position and move the base of the ladder away from the building until it reaches the proper angle. Keep the ladder vertical while you are raising the fly. Extend the ladder to the desired height and engage the ladder locks. Lean the ladder against the building and establish the correct setup angle. The base of the ladder should be positioned one foot away from the building for every four feet of ladder length as measured from the base to the upper support point. This four to one ratio is essential to your safety. You can check your ratio by placing your toes against the bottom of the side rails and extending your arms straight out. The tips of your hands should touch the top of the rung nearest to your shoulder level. All extension ladders must be safely secured before use. Securing can mean a variety of things, but the final result is a stable ladder that can be climbed or worked on without fear of movement. The shoes or adjustable feet of extension ladders serve to secure the base. When on a solid surface, like asphalt or concrete, the rubber shoes will be considered a secure base. If there is a danger of the ladder moving on a slick surface or from wet ground, you may need to secure your ladder at the base by adding a lash point or guying it back to the building. If you're on soft ground, tipping the shoes and driving them into the ground can help to secure the ladder. If you cannot safely use the ladder with it extended three feet above the working surface, you must secure the ladder at the top to a rigid support that will not deflect. Provide a grasping device and make sure the ladder deflection under a load would not by itself cause it to slip off its support. Several commercial devices can be used to help secure a ladder at the top. Ladder leashes and ladder locks are excellent tools to secure a ladder. Wingspan extenders and gutter supports are commercially available products to add stability and support while climbing and working on ladders. 
Ladder manufacturers often require that their ladders are only used with manufacturer approved accessories. Also, ladder manufacturers often prohibit accessory use with medium and light duty ladders. Safe ladder use can save your life. Hold yourself and your crew responsible for the safe selection, inspection, setup, and use of all ladders. In Washington State, employers must use a competent person to train all employees that use ladders to recognize ladder hazards and the procedures to minimize these hazards. Training must include the proper construction, use, placement, and care in handling ladders, the maximum intended load capacities of ladders that are used. Training must also include the requirements of WAC 296-876 and how to find standards that relate to the work being done. Employees must be retrained as necessary to make sure they know and understand the content of the original training. It is best practice to document all safety training for employees. This video by itself does not meet all the requirements of ladder safety training, but can be used as a resource to supplement competent person training.